a day in the life of a Texas high school football coach as we get ready to max our guys out on the bench press. As we wind down our max week, it's time that we save the best for last and knock out the bench press. I decided to sleep in this morning until about six o'clock. After that, I hopped in the car and made my way on down to the school building. We're getting closer to the end of the school year and we're just gonna knock out bench and a few other things before we're done. We're starting to clear off the walls. We're gonna be doing a lot of renovations to our school here soon where we're gonna get fresh paint and a lot of different stuff on the walls around here. I made my way on down to the weight room that's located in our indoor. I knocked out a little pull circuit that included some kettlebell swings just to get my heart rate up a little bit. If you've been watching this series for a while, you know after I work out, I like to hop in the sauna that we got set up in our coach's locker room. After a 20 minute session in the sauna, I laid on the floor for a little bit to cool down. After that, I took a shower and changed into my best teaching sweats. It's almost time to get started with our first period football guys. We go ahead and write out the warm up with the guys so that they know what percentages to go off of before they start their maxes. We get all the racks loaded up and we get some good weights recorded. With some of the extra time, we're gonna be knocking out some of the makeup maxes that we gotta get. I grab a stopwatch for some guys that still have to run their 40s. We get finished up with our first period football guys at 8.55, then we give them about 20 minutes to shower up and change before the first class starts at 9.30. Speaking of class, I went up and checked out my new classroom for next school year. After that, I headed back down to Astro World, my usual classroom that I've been in the last few years. I get a little stir crazy this time of the year, so I check out some of the job boards to see what jobs are opening up. After my first class period, I go and find some leftover Olive Garden from the track banquet the other night. I fixed me up a big old plate of spaghetti and I went and ate it back in my classroom. The new yearbooks came in, so I checked out a little article they wrote about me in the yearbook. Once I was all done with my second class of the day, I shut down my computer. I took the scenic route back down to the athletic swing. I always think one of the prettier sights we have on our campus is the entrance to our basketball gym. I get back in the team room, they already got a bunch of stuff off the walls where the renovations are about to start happening. I've got about an hour and a half off before we start our eighth period football class, so I'll watch a little Colin Cowherd. We get copies of the sheets to record the maxes on for this afternoon. After that, we get down to the indoor so we can get the weight room set up. The bell rings at 325 for our eighth period football class. The guys go through a dynamic warm up and then we start getting their bench maxes. We allow our players to get a one, two, or three rep max. If they happen to get one of those multiple rep maxes, we use a chart to convert that. We use these new maxes during our summer workout so our guys can put some good weight on. After we get all the maxes done, we turn all the players loose. I myself grab my car keys after they're all gone and head on to the house. I end up getting home a little before five o'clock just in time for dinner to get started.